Chip Zdarsky made an appearance at Big B Comics in Niagara Falls to meet his fans and to promote the recent release of Howard the Duck. Well, I work on the book for Image Comics. They're the company that does The Walking Dead. Uh, and the book is called Sex Criminals. And that did really well, and so Marvel asked me to do some cover jobs for them. And those went well. And then they got me to do a two-page thing, and that went well. And next thing I know, they were asking me to pitch Howard the Duck, which came pretty naturally, because I, I loved the character as a kid. And I used to read all the old comics. My uncle Fred had them. And uh, even though they were kind of a bit more geared towards adults, I would always sneak away and, and read them whenever we visited Uncle Fred. Uh, and then he bequeathed his old magazines to me a few years ago. And so when Marvel asked me if I had any ideas, I'm like, yeah, I've got ideas. Like, no problem. Like many artists, Chip Zdarsky began to draw at an early age. So I went to Sheridan College for illustration, which, uh, which is an amazing program, kind of taught you the basics of, of drawing and a little bit of storytelling. And uh, that kind of started me on the love of comics. And I've basically been doing them for about 10 years on my own, not necessarily making money doing it, you know, just kind of do it for fun. I think that's the key. If you make comics for fun, then eventually you can probably turn that into uh, a business for yourself. And uh, yeah, it, it seemed like a bit of a, one of those things where it's a slow progression and then the overnight sensation. Like I, uh, this year, I won an award for most promising newcomer but I'm 39 years old and I've been doing this for a long time. So it's that kind of that, that weird kind of dual edge. Written by Matt Fraction and illustrated by Chip Zdarsky, in September of 2013, the ongoing monthly comic Sex Criminals was released. When Matt named it Sex Criminals, I was like, maybe we should rethink that. It's going to be a hard sell. But uh, the premise of the book is basically a couple who, when they have sex, they find they can stop time. And so they decide to rob banks with that ability. So they're sex criminals, but they're not sex criminals. I just want to be very clear. Time honored sex criminals as the number one comic slash graphic novel of 2013. It felt really weird, uh, mostly because uh, the writer and I thought it would only last three issues. We were doing a comic for ourselves, which is kind of another uh, tip for people. Do the thing that you yourself want to read. Um, so the fact that people actually latched on to it and we started getting awards and recognition was very weird, very weird. Um, I, I, don't, I don't even know how to handle it or put it into words. Like, uh, the book's gone beyond anything we thought it would. Along with Howard the Duck, Zdarsky has a new project set for release in April of this year. And so through Image Comics, they're going to be doing a book called Captara, which is kind of a sci-fi, Wizard of Oz, uh, action hero, He-Man style book. Um, but humor-based. I'm doing it with a Toronto illustrator named Kagan McLeod, and he's unbelievably talented, and I'm so looking forward to just people being able to see his work. Stop by your local comic book store to check out more of Chip Zdarsky's work. In Niagara Falls, you're watching The Source.